Hey everybody, uh, it's Jay and myself. We're here today. Uh, this is the last day of scale. I'm sad. Yeah, me too. I have had an absolute blast. Me too. Um, yeah. This, like, just getting to meet people, see friends, uh, you know, colleagues, um, and just being able to like go out on the expo floor and meet people uh, just like you who are right. You know, watching the show right now. Um, I've met like a bunch of people who said they're subscribed to the Linode channel. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, I know the guys at the booth were as well saying that they yep. had met people who subscribe. So, uh, it's nice to know that what we're doing here, people are watching, you know? Exactly. Uh, doing content in an echo chamber is not fun. No, not at no. all. Um, but yeah, so today's the last day and we decided we wanted to do a wrap up video, yep. uh, just to talk about our experiences at, uh, scale and you know, the, the, the kinds of things that we're looking forward to next year. Yep. Um, so if you wanted to start, like, it, what was one thing that really stood out to you? One thing. Um, <laughs> oh, I mean, there was many. So, as much it's as you so want. hard because I, I mean, this is my first Linux conference, believe it or not. And not my first conference in general. It's just I've been to PenguinCon, which is one of my favorites. And Linux does absolutely have a presence there. But it's not full Linux, though, like this one is. So I come here and it's like, you know, we have Canonical, we have Red Hat, we have people from Fedora, mm -hmm. Debian, OpenSUSE, SUSE, KDE, GNOME, a whole bunch of different people. And um, it's like, at first it's like, oh my gosh, like pretty much everybody I want to talk to is in one place and mm -hmm. that has never happened. Yeah. That, that's one of the things that I've loved about going to conferences in the past. Yeah. Um, and it's one of the things I've missed about not having conferences is like right. just you know you you go out on the expo floor and you see tons of people like representatives from like pretty much every important linux company or yeah. organization even not just companies um and it's like it's it's really a special experience and then you know you also meet the the attendees not just like right. the the exhibitors and stuff but like the attendees and you're like these are my people you know right. and you yes. and you can like connect yes. with folks on a, on a on a different level than you normally get a chance to right um especially and i just love i just love people in general yeah. I, I i really do and, and just talking to people hearing their story you know their travels what brought them here uh what they do for a living and you know so many great people and their personalities um made a lot of friends here thing people i've never known before um i well, I was going to say I've never spoken in person to anyone from Canonical before. Well, technically, George Castro was um, employed at Canonical when I first met him. So I guess I have spoken to someone. But mm -hmm. having people from Ubuntu here, another individual who's also writing an Ubuntu book, got, got to share some uh, writing you know, discussion with him. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Ansible is very well represented here. You know, everyone's mm -hmm. talking about Ansible, so I feel right at home there. But just, I think the most fun that I've had um, in general is just talking to everybody that I could talk to and just connecting with people. And it's such a different world because um, I remember going to a conference online and it was so embarrassing. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just like watching the conference and I thought I'm watching it. I'm, the, I'm sitting there eating a bag of Doritos, crinkling the bag and, oh, the mic is on and they just kicked me out of the room. Darn it. Um, <laughs> you, you know, yeah. it, it's so awkward. And then now to actually be in person again yeah. um, and not to have to deal with out that. out of the room in person right. when you're crinkling the bag. Yeah. Right. I could just eat Doritos in a proper place and not, not have <laughs> yeah. uh, people, oh, my camera's on. Ooh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, speaking of like lectures, mm -hmm. did you did you go to any lectures? I didn't. I, I was didn't. so fascinated in in going around with getting footage. Yeah. I, I wanted to so bad, but mm -hmm. um, I just really loved talking to people around the floor, and I felt like that right now is more important than. But there's so many um, panels and, and things I wanted to see, though. But yeah. I feel like I made the right choice because I, I there were so many people I met, and, and these are memories that are going to last forever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I actually got to go to two different lectures. Um, one of them was uh, by Amanda Brock from um, Open UK, mm. which is was a, an open government um, like initiative in the UK, um, and it was so interesting. Like she was talking about the. Uh, the the ways that they that her organization are uh, working to like m increase transparency and uh, in government yep. and and not just that but like also increase the use of open source software in mm. the government um, and that is just such a like a really important thing like it is yeah. she was showing numbers and statistics about like you know open source contributed 
something like seven billion dollars to the UK economy. Oh wow! Seven billion, and when you can like you know you, you have like uh, politicians and stuff who are you know they don't really they don't know anything about computers, but when you can put it in terms of like open source software contributes black and white numbers uh, to the economy, then they'll start listening. And when you have like the backing of the government to uh, push your uh, to push the the, um, the movement forward, right? That's pretty awesome. I think when it comes to government, I mean that's that's a great point because you gotta you know give them something tangible because I mean and no offense to anyone, but it is the case and it's gonna sound funny, but I'm being serious. We we literally are trying to explain the current age of technology to people that still use MapQuest as a verb. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that tells you everything you need to know right there. So that's what yeah. we're up against. So we just got to make sure that, you know, we make it understandable. These are the benefits. This is what you could benefit from by, by using this. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, they don't know about this because it's one thing to have like Windows or Mac with this advertising budget that's on every single channel. But open source, we don't do that. I mean, we, we do, but nowhere near on that level. So people... Um, there's a lot of people that don't know about this stuff. So to help educate people and say, hey, there's this really amazing thing you're not using. Uh, mm -hmm. Check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So and, you know, my favorite part about going to conferences, I already mentioned this a little bit, but like mm -hmm. is seeing friends, yeah. you know, friends and, and, and colleagues and people that you know and respect in the community uh, and getting to network with people. Right. Um, did, uh, are there any uh, anybody you got to connect with that stood out to you? Oh my gosh, uh, where do I even begin? Yeah. I've given my business card to so many people, you know, at Canonical, yep. and um, I'm trying to think who I didn't give my card to at this point, because there's like, and one of the things I thought was really cool is that... Um, I've run out of business cards, by the way. Yeah, the, the ones I'm that are in close. here are ones I've collected from other people. Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's like, I'm walking around and like, yeah, I was thinking about doing a video about that, and I was thinking about doing a video about that, and mm -hmm. I get to talk to the people in person that I'm thinking about doing tutorials for, because, you know, Jenkins is something I've been thinking about um, doing an install tutorial for a long time. Well, here's people from Jenkins. I can actually say, hey, I want to do some content around your um, stuff, and then, you know, Frank from NextCloud, I'm like, just, just... Can you just mm -hmm. introduce the video I'm about to do? Because I literally have an xCloud video on the editing queue right now. And then the, here's Frank, you know, the owner, the creator of this. I'm like, yeah. could you just uh, say something in the camera? I could put it right before the tutorial. It's going to be awesome. It's time to install NextCloud. It's That's time what we to got install to NextCloud. Yep. Yeah, that was a great time. Uh, speaking of future content, mm -hmm. do you have any content on your channel or coming up on the Linode channel that you want to plug? I have so much footage to go through. It's like yeah. I have endless <laughs> options and what to do with it. Yeah. And I don't want to, I mean, it's, I, I don't mind talking about what's coming out. I mean, I just mentioned my next cloud video. But right now it's like creatively, I'm so tired out with all the footage that I've recorded. Mm -hmm. But once I re-energize and my creativity comes back up, which will probably be just a couple of days from now, I'm probably going to be, people are going to have to like pull me away from the computer when I'm editing this stuff. Yeah. And I, I could easily like bombard the channel with stuff from this. So oh, yeah. it's either like bombard or pick the best and yeah. both are hard to do. Right. right? How do you Absolutely. pick the best yeah. out of this? It's going to be difficult. I think I captured about 230 gigabytes of footage. And you told me oh. you had a hundred and a hundred what? Hundred and eighteen gigs yeah. before um, before today, today. before yeah. today started. So, I think I only had twenty. I don't know what this means or measures up to twenty two minutes left on my SD card by the time I was done today alone. Yeah. So, wow. um, and, and you know, back I'm, I'm a worry ward about data and hard drive. So I get back to the room last night and I'm like. I don't want this all on one thing. I'm going to just synchronize this to my home server, which, of course, is going to take overnight oh. to do. But it's there now, so mm -hmm. I have the footage in multiple places, and I could just start editing the heck out of it. Yeah, I had plans to uh, to have my footage backed up to my home server and then have my editor back home start yeah. editing. But uh, it took longer to upload a 26-megabyte file to YouTube from this hotel's Wi-Fi right. than it did to upload a five gigabyte file from my home network uh, before I left. Well, so. I'm doing it over VPN to my TrueNAS. Um, yeah. Actually, no, I'm using SyncThing uh, via VPN, and um, that's all. It was, I think it was like 
I don't know, six megabytes. Or so. I don't remember, six megabits. It was, it was slow. Yeah. And when I left, it was it wasn't even done. I mean, when I yeah. left, it was like only thirty percent done. So, wow. but then I think about like we've traded footage. So mm -hmm. worst comes to worst, we have each other's stuff anyway. So right. one person le loses it, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. So I, I just want to thank Linode for the opportunity to yeah, come out here. Absolutely. I want to thank all the people that work on open source daily, the people that use it, the people that file bugs, um, you know, the users, the developers, the people that work tirelessly to make this event happen. Yeah. Uh, there's just so many people to thank the audience for watching our content and even giving us a platform in the first place that led us to, um, you know, Los Angeles this time. Yeah. And, you know, other than that, it's just, um, I, I feel like I want to talk about everything that I've seen, but if people watch, you know, all three of our channels, they're going to see it and yeah. they're going to know. So yeah. it's kind of like uh, we, the footage really speaks for itself, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you're watching this video before you see the roundup that we're doing individually on our channels, go check those videos out. There'll be links in the description. Um, we're also, uh, we've also done a couple other pieces of content for the Leno channel. Uh, yeah. So we got a couple shorts. I think the shorts are pretty fun. You saw the one I did earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That I, we did a, we asked people rapid fire tech opinion questions uh, and that short came out really fun. So uh, if you haven't checked that out, go do it. Um, yep. And uh, yeah, I, I want to say thanks as well to the organizers of, the, of scale. I mean, it's so great to be at a conference again. I love it. Um, and thanks to all the yep. uh, exhibitors and all the speakers um, and all the friends that I got to see. Uh, it's just been great. So um, next year, make sure you come to scale if you can, because it's just a fantastic time. It, I, I am going to call it right now, unless there's like a really weird situation, I'm going to be back here for sure. There's no yeah. question about it. I yeah. I feel like it's, um, you know, these are our people and yeah. I'm we're with our people. I want to be with our people. So the minute something like this opens up, um, I'll, you know, be, I'd love to be a part of that. Um, also, Black Hat is coming up. I I don't think I'm going to be as involved there as I was here. I'll be present at the CrowdSec booth, but it's not going to be on the level of this was. But then there's all things open to look forward to, which I'll be there speaking, actually, at least mm. probably somewhere between three and five different panels I'll be doing. So nice. I'm going to be all about this convention thing here on out because I'm addicted and I can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, make sure you yep. subscribe to the Linode YouTube channel uh, to stay up to date with all the fun stuff that we're doing oh, yeah. here. Jay and I have tons of content coming out. Uh, you can subscribe to our channels as yep. well. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.